Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Good news this morning because Ben Shewell is about to sign a new long-term contract at Chelsea Football Club. Listen, you can say whatever you want about Frank Lampard. He might not be a good manager according to many people online, but when it comes to talent id he knows how to detect talent i still remember when he decided to go for ben Shewell and the whole community online went banana they wanted lampard out immediately because he was apparently helping the england national team buying english players on top of a lot of english players that we have from the academy there are so many of them. We have to go for Sergio Regulon. We have to go for Tagliafico. We had to go for Alex Telles. We had to go for anybody but English players. But today, who is eating in the same table as Ben Shewell? So probably Lampard need to apply for the scouting job at Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> Instead of being a manager, you need to be a scout or a sporting director or something because he knows how to detect talent. He knows how to develop talent and detect them. Even back in the day, he wanted Vinicius Jr., he wanted Rodrigo. Everybody that he brought in the team is a hit if you look at it closely. Anyways, it's not about Lampard here. Let's talk about Chile. I'm so happy about this news because Pep Guardiola is a big fan of his. He wanted him at Manchester City, but it looks like uh, Chile said, no, I'm signing a new contract at Chelsea Football Club and you have to find somebody else, which is surprising because when you get rid of somebody like uh, Joao Cancelo, and try to buy a player from Chelsea. I don't know why. And uh, Pep Guardiola knew that um, Marco Correa is not that good and they shouldn't be spending more than 40 million. They put 40 million on the table or nothing. And Chelsea went, you know what? We're going to pay even extra 20 million on top of that. And we got Marco Correa now. The rest is history. The guy might come good, though, you know. It's his first season at Chelsea Football Club. But did we really need Marco Correa? Think about it. When I was making videos back then, when we were linked with him, people said that I had an agenda and I don't know anything about football because. Korea is the next coming of Jesus Christ. What I said back then was that we have Jan Madsen, we have Lewis Hall from the academy. Those kids can help until Chile is back. Oh no, you with your English players and your academy, wah, 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 wah. What is happening today? 60 million. Yeah. And the guy is almost on 150k a week that is double the money that uh, Mason Mount is on when we spend a lot of money when we buy a foreigner it's always a hit online we get too excited it's not my money go for him buy you know spend whatever it takes but the reality on the pitch is not always the the same so I don't know when Chelsea are going to learn a lesson. I don't know even those people in the office also watch like social media and try to please online expert instead of doing their jobs. I don't care where you're coming from. Your nationality doesn't mean anything. Your skin color doesn't mean anything to me. All that matter is the blues. We are all blues and if I have to sign 11 players from Nigeria 
it's okay don't tell me oh there are so many of them why so many nigerians in the same team this is the same thing that people are doing online why so many english players there are so many of them what is wrong with that <laughs> i don't care if there are 20 senegalese in one team as long as they deserve to be there and even fifa are protecting the local boys you go to nigeria and you hate the local boys why so many of them in the team brother because it's their country it's because they created their teams and we are adopted their team so you have to respect also the rules the right of the land the right of the blood so just don't be jealous because nigerians deserve to play in their own country right anyways people i'm so happy for chile new deal but a lot of stuff need to be done next summer financial fair play pushing right now and chelsea are in danger and we have to sell some players if i have to sell some players for me we have to try to get rid of marco korea i know that he might become world class one day but it doesn't look like we really need anybody in that position we have lewis hall arguably better than Kukurea in my opinion jan Matsen, he killed it in the championship this season he can also help in that position so this is the position that we didn't want but we jumped to the opportunity last summer because he was there invaluable and all of a sudden instead of saving money and investing the money in the position we need the most bam let's go for him for what reason i don't know and then we went for kulibali and don't get me wrong i wanted kulibali i still want him now i still believe he's gonna improve but it just shows you that we don't plan anything we were jumping all over the place Kunde, uh, uh, Mukiele from Labzik. We, we were all over the place. Kim Pembe, you know, Nathan Ake, <laughs> Raheem Sterling. No planning, no nothing. 300 million. Tell me who is really justifying the money that we spent last summer. I can't judge January transfer window because most of them are young and can still develop. But last summer, it was like we went for a shortcut, quick fix, and we hit the wall.